So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean these collars. A lot of manufacturers will put uh, oil on them to condition the metal. So to make a good connection, we're going to take some denatured alcohol here. And I got a clean microfiber towel. So I'm just going to get that wet. And then I'm going to go over the collar where my ductwork is going to connect. Just like that, let it dry. So now we're going to stretch out the ductwork before we install it. Uh, the insulation needs to expand in order for us to be able to strap it up properly. If we don't do this step, then when we strap it, the insulation will continue to expand and we'll have sagging. So to get it as straight as possible, we're going to go ahead and open this up. And the longer it's outside, the more it's going to expand and get to its full size. It's also a good time to align the inner collar and the outer collar. Sometimes when they put these together, they are in different positions, so line them up. You can give a tug on the inner collar there, bud. Awesome, perfect, perfect. Yep. And good. So wait for that to expand, and then we'll connect it. This is going to be the box for the master bedroom. I've mapped out where I want to put all my ducts so that it's going to be the easiest to run. Now I'm ready to start attaching stuff. So I've got my collars already put together and wiped down. I got the spacing good. I'm going to take my duct knife and I'm going to cut the hole. I've measured this on the inside. You want your hole to be just slightly smaller than your collar so that way you get a nice tight connection. This is going to be the most important connection to prevent leakage. So I'm going to hold my blade really straight and just cut around in a circle. Pop that right out. I'm going to take my collar. I'm going to push these tabs slightly in so I can get them through the hole. Before I put that on, I'm going to put a thin layer of mastic all around the hole so I get a good connection. And then we're going to take the collar, slide it in there. Should be a little snug. And then I'm going to reach my hand in there and I'm going to push down the tabs all the way around. And while I'm doing that, I'm making sure that this is tight to the box so I get the best possible seal between the sealant and this mechanical connection. We shouldn't have any leaks on this guy. Alrighty. Nice and snug. Now we're going to do the rest of the box and let those dry and then we'll attach the ductwork. to prepare this for the connection. So I want to make sure I have access to the inner liner. Take this piece of tape off so the wire is free. We'll just cut it. Okay. And then I need to fold back the insulation so that I can have just the inner liner to work with. So I'm going to tuck this and roll it like this and get the insulation back behind here. Okay, now I've got plenty of slack here because i got this all stretched out and it's all expanded. I'm going to put this three rings deep over the ridge that's on the collar. 
And I'm going to take my mechanical tape, and we're going to tape all the way around it. I'm going to secure the inner lining to the collar. Take my squeegee and pressure it all down. Okay. And then lastly, I'm going to take a pandoid strap. And then I'm going to connect that forward of the ridge that's on the collar. And tighten it down so that if all this does slip, then the pandoid's going to hold those rings on. Cool. Now I need to apply a layer of mastic around this and that's going to hold it in place. Awesome. Now, all we have to do is wait for this to dry and then we can put the outer jacket on. Alright, so we're going to install a manual damper. I've already put some in the other runs, so this way we can easily balance the airflow in the house. So, these come with wing nuts, uh, usually washers or some sort of little gasket, and then a handle so that we can easily move it. So, these snap into the holes that are already on your collar. And then all you need is a washer. This one gets the handle and a wing nut. And then we'll do a washer and a wing nut on the other side. And then we will tighten them. Now, when I move the handle, this guy should stay in whatever position I put him in. And you can set the airflow for this particular duct run. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, Give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, HVACRschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex. Bytex.